protesters take over Bay Area freeways, trapping commuters in traffic for hours during morning rush hour. It was an orchestrated event that they put forth. The demonstrators say they chose tax day to call for a ceasefire in Gaza because they believe our taxpayer money is being used to aid Israel in a genocide. Disgusted by what's happening in Gaza. Their message for peace, however, causing major disruptions to millions of people just trying to start their Monday. Traffic in the Bay Area was stopped for hours as demonstrators caused some big problems on some major freeways. Uh, shutdowns happening at the Golden Gate Bridge and various parts of I-880 in Oakland. About 300 protesters blocked an on-ramp to Interstate 880 in Oakland where they were confronted by a number of highway patrol officers. And on northbound 880, officers spent several hours trying to cut protesters out of chains that were attached to concrete-filled barrels. On 101, about 60 protesters took part in shutting down the Golden Gate Bridge, dozens of them locking themselves together inside their parked cars, causing gridlock traffic. The California Highway Patrol says they arrested 26 protesters there. Protests calling for the end of the war in Gaza turned confrontational in Fremont, where demonstrators clashed with police outside the Tesla factory with officers firing pepper balls into the crowd. More than 50 people rallied there, starting off at the Warm Springs BART station before marching over to the Tesla plant. Cron Force Jack Molman was at that protest today. He has more details. Jack? <laughs> Well, that's right, and those pepper balls, they not only hit the protesters gathered here in Fremont today, but they also hit journalists such as us here also at Cron 4 as well. Now, before the confrontation with police, the protesters marched, and it was relatively pretty peaceful in a protest in which demonstrators called a nationwide economic blockade.